Good morning, guys. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning, dynamite service with explosive results. We are about to get set up on a driveway restoration. And the reason I call it a restoration is because there was a tree company that uh, used a snowbird's driveway, with permission, of course, uh, to take some trees down in their next door neighbor's uh, yard. And uh, this driveway was used uh, to gather up those trees and uh, they left a bunch of tannin stains. So I'm gonna show you what the driveway looks like. Uh, of course, you're seeing some shadowing from the trees, but you can see some staining in through here. That would be oil staining. And then we're gonna get up in here. After I blow all this off, you'll be able to see it much better. But you can see uh, some of what the tannins look like. And uh, so I'll show you what those look like over here. Uh, so we're gonna use a good degreaser, SH and surfactant to get those off. The very first thing I'm gonna do is blow the driveway off. Once I blow the driveway off, I'm gonna put a little blue dragon down and scrub these stains. Uh, blue Original Dawn dish soap will also uh, help as well if you don't have uh, my particular mix of blue dragon. Um, and uh, so you can see these stains in through here. So we measured the driveway and the driveway was 90 feet long by 23 feet wide at its longest point, which will be in through here. So that gives us a little over 2000 square feet. And uh, most guys are anywhere between 18 to 44 cents a square. And uh, so we can kind of give you an idea of what the driveway looks like. And uh, so this will take uh, quite a bit of um, degreaser on some of these stains. Um, and uh, as well as, you can see these stains in through here, um, as well as sodium hypochlorite surfactant. There is a process to this. You can't just squirt something on, scrub it with a hard bristle brush, hope it goes away after you surface clean it. Um, there's a process to this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is blow the driveway off, get all of this stuff off so that I can sort of unearth the driveway. Now, uh, when I called the contact, um, I asked uh, if he would like me to do these sidewalks because they desperately need it. This is a walkway that leads to the front uh, foyer. And then also we have some sidewalks out here that could really use a little oxalic acid treatment or F9 bark. Uh, and you can see what those look like. So those would look really good cleaned up and the curbing would look really good cleaned up as well. Uh, but um, right now they want just the driveway done and the tannins lifted up. So after I blow, sorry to keep flipping you around, after I blow all this debris out from here, I'm gonna scrub some of the stains uh, with a hard bristle brush and let that soap and detergent sort of pull out some of the stain. Um, I'm then gonna rinse it down, pre-wet the driveway, and I'm gonna hit those stains with a little degreaser. Um, I'm then gonna scrub those stains also with that hard bristle brush um, and really help that to sort of pull out some more of the, the staining that's occurring. Um, I'm then gonna use sodium hypochlorite surfactant and degreaser to shoot the entire driveway. I'm gonna surface clean the driveway after the dwell time, which I'll probably let it dwell 20 or 30 minutes. After the dwell time, um, you can even let these things set all day. Like if you're shooting the house or the roof, you know, you can pre uh, put your solution on here. You, let's say you have a soft wash system. You can you hit it with your 12 volt or your gas powered soft wash system, your air, you know, whatever you have um, and let that set on there. It doesn't matter that it dries because uh, it, it really just seeps into the pores. But anyway, um, after my dwell time, uh, I'll go ahead and surface clean it. I'll rinse it all down with a high pressure ball valve and then um, let it dry and take a look at those stains um, and then repeat the process uh, with both uh, the detergent and uh, the degreaser. Um, so you wanna be really, really careful with degreaser, uh, laying a degreaser on a concrete that is dry. Uh, you can end up highlighting the concrete. Um, so there are some things to be able to watch out for. Um, I also have some brighteners on board that we can use in case those stains are not coming up to my satisfaction. So uh, the reason it takes time is because you have to allow it to dry. Now you can speed that process up with a blower, uh, but we're so hot down here in central Florida, that it'll dry in you know, just under an hour by the time I have you know an apple and a granola bar and, and a smoothie. Um, It'll be dry and I can be able to see what that looks like. So have a great day, everyone. Keep cleaning. Trevor Thompson, TNT 
pressure cleaning. This is going to be a restoration job uh, because we are lifting those heavy, heavy tannins out of that uh, out of that concrete. And I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm in a beautiful community. The homes are absolutely gorgeous inside of here. And uh, I'm just hoping that lots of homeowners drive by my rig and see the wrap so that they'll give me a call and continue to uh, book dates on the calendar and feed my family and save a little money for their college fund. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.